This video will show you how to use PowerPoint as a video editor to complete simple tasks such as trimming, combining clips, adding text slides, cropping or resizing, adding transitions and adjusting the audio volume. To get started, insert an existing video onto a slide by going to Insert. Video. This device. Or, use PowerPoint screen recording feature to quickly and easily capture a screen recording with audio. Press the record button to begin. When you are done, move your cursor to the top center of the screen to reveal the toolbar and press stop. The video will automatically be populated onto the PowerPoint slide. Resize your video if needed by dragging the corners. Select your video to gain access to the video format and playback menus. Select Trim if you need to cut portions of your video. Drag the green and red tabs to select the portion of the video you would like to keep. The Trim feature will only allow you to remove from the start and the end of the video. Use the play controls to locate the parts you would like to trim. If you have sections in the middle that need to be removed, you can do this by duplicating the slide with the video and then modifying the trim selections for each. This will essentially allow you to combine portions of the same video together. It may be helpful to make note of the edit times while you are trimming each duplication of the video. There are several other features available on the video format menu and the playback menu that may be useful to you such as corrections for brightness and contrast, color and crop. Fade duration, to add a fade effect onto the start and end of your video, and the volume controls to set the level of the audio in your video. Title slides can be added to introduce the video or a section of the video. Consider using a DC branded PowerPoint template or use the design ideas feature in the design menu to help style your titles. You can even add transitions that will be included in the final video. Once you are done working on the video, it's time to save it into a standard video format that can be shared on a platform such as YouTube or OneDrive. If you have only one slide with a video to save, you can take a shortcut and simply right-click on the video and select Save Media As. If you have more than one slide being included in your final video, you will go to File. Export. Create a video. The default settings can be used, however, if your computer or PowerPoint is struggling to export the video, then try changing the quality to HD 720p instead. Select Create Video and then choose a saving location and name. The export process can take time depending on the length of the video. Progress of the export is displayed at the bottom of the PowerPoint application. You will now have a standard video file that can be shared using YouTube or OneDrive.